Well, if you're just joining us, we're coming off a pretty successful, uh, if you want to put it in baseball terms, a double header down in Texas. You ready? We did a little bit of predator control. And we're really excited about heading east this week. Bill Buspis, I'm coming for you. <laughs> going into Louisiana to a very famous place that you guys might recognize. We're going to Ala this week. Gonna catch up with my good buddy Matt Buspis, do a little deer hunting for a few days. It's about 55,000 and some odd acres of just prime hunting, very heavily managed deer paradise. And it's absolutely incredible, man. They got some big deer. Hopefully I can shoot a deer that's within Big Bill standards this year. And we somehow tricked the Buspises into letting us come on that place. <laughs> Big Bill got aggravated at me last year because he thought I shot a deer that was too young. But Matt told me to shoot it, so I threw Matt under the bus and said it was his fault. Hey, Joyce, this is Kip Campbell out here at the front gate. All right, I'm All right, thank you. People know me. It's part of my life. It's boring. I guess I didn't make the no hunt list after all. Hopefully this year we're gonna we're gonna find some middle ground, and, and maybe I'll just kill a deer that I I both enjoy killing and, and Bill will approve of. That's all we can hope for. Speaking of, we got you. Lives to be kept. What's up, baby? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, all right, man. What's up, man? Saw you on the show uh, last night. Pretty good. Uh, I had a few teeth, so I get what you're you know, some of that stuff is uh, not fun. Some of it is. A lot of it is. <laughs> I know they're a bit concerned about me on year two. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. We're about to lay out the red carpet for the red area for you. Yeah, so welcome back to Olive. Just don't shoot a two year old 10 The gar hole carpet. No, no, nah, nah, ain't no gar hole. This don't lay out the, the two or three year old. Hey man, all I, all I know is I follow Matt's rules and, and his rules didn't exactly match up to this. Nah, we're gonna talk. I'm gonna check with the man before I shoot this year. You said, but it's on camera, you go. <laughs> oh, Matt no. said he has a 10 point that's a call book. Mm -hmm. And I've never used those two words in one sentence. A 10 point where I come from <laughs> ain't a call book. Yeah, right. Matt and Ryan have been having a heck of a year so far. So you don't have to answer why. That freaking buck was a tank. But check him out. Just an old Louisiana brute. That's what you call that right there. He's ancient. Look at look at the brows, look at the width. Got a lot of trail camp pictures of him, so uh, celebrating the night, man. Hey, last night, last minute buck, and I'll take him every time. Great, great buck, great eight points. Ryan actually killed his biggest buck to date this year. Goodness at that box. Golly. Ryan. Shot him that right there. All right. Hey, that's a man. Huh? That's, that's that, he, if you hit him there, though, he's dead. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Look how wide. What is that? That is What just... is that? I've never seen one of those before. No, huh? that's Louisiana. That's amazing. Just go ahead and touch that again for some luck. <laughs> <laughs> And Matt actually killed a freak deer they call Squiggly Down Under. That sounds like a cross between a Tom Selleck movie and a SpongeBob movie.
you think I got him? Oh my, look at the squig. Oh, this dude's a tank. Oh, he broke his drop line off. Are you what? kidding me? He broke it off crashing. Oh, oh my God, how did that happen? I was, I was focused on the squig, but he broke it off. Oh my God. This squiggly is going on the wall, brother. Squiggly down under is a, a true trophy and probably one of my top bucks of my life. Oh, and did I mention they kill bucks on this place? There would be giant anywhere in the country. Goodness. Get out of here. It's gotta be over one inch to be called a drop time. Matt, that doesn't even count. That's like a irregular point. <laughs> Matt, that's Man, not you a gotta drop be time. kidding. You have like an eight inch drop off of it. It that's broke not the off. Right, it's not the right deer. No, I think it's the right deer. I think there's a pretty distinguishing mark right here. <laughs> You know, last year was my first year at Allah, and I asked Matt to give me a hit list based on the stand I was sitting in on what deer I was allowed to shoot. The first night out, I scratched one of Matt's deer off the hit list right away. Later that week, another deer from Matt's hit list stepped out into the food plot. And once again, I scratched the name off the hit list. That's a deer that Matt wanted out of here. He's a he's a he's a ten pointer. And he's a stud. He's a he's a big old heavy deer, but he's got a little bit of short times for what they want around here. So I was happy to happy to cull him from the herd. The only problem is me and Matt and Big Bill were operating on different hit lists, I guess, and he's the boss. Yeah, Matt just sent me a picture and we, we let him go three times and he came back out and, and that's the one. Young, let me tell you, young ten is what we don't want to kill. No, okay. I, I know, but he, Matt wow. said he's an old ten and he's got lots of pictures of for a couple of years and said to kill him. You know, I found out real quick this year that I had a long way to go if I was going to earn Big Bill's trust back. We weren't staying in the big house this year like we were last year. a lodge somewhere if you want to call it a lodge I guess you could call it a trailer if you really wanted to that would be the technical term for it um, trailer park if you will shooting an old razor tonight hey I'm a Hoyt guy no doubt but I'm not opposed to killing deer with other weapons so you said the first pin is 30 we get out there with Barnett on the range and the coolest thing about the Barnett crossbow is you can set the scope up and sight it in just like a rifle and hunt with it the same day. No need for months of practice. Use the top of that circle on the 20 yard side, probably would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's, yes, that'll work. If you can pull a trigger and do proper trigger control, you can kill a deer with a Barnett crossbow up to 50, 60, whatever your limits are, yards away. I'm a Hoyt man. I love shooting my Hoyt bow. But on occasion, I like shooting this Barnett. Everybody else that we hunt with loves them too, man. I'm just a, a bow hunting fool. But this is like, like I said, this is like the 50 caliber sniper rifle of the bow hunting world right here. So we're gonna see if we can't 50 cal something in the heart tonight. First buck that comes in is a young 10 point. So I cocked the hammer. No, I don't. I don't shoot him at all. I, I, I pass on him. See, Big Bill? I know what I'm doing. Well, we finally made it to Louisiana. We're here at Ala. Oh, hey, girls. I've killed those for less. You can't even get through the interview. There's so many deer here. I didn't really want to ask if I could come back, but I knew I wanted to hunt here, so hopefully we can shoot a deer and get out of here before Big Bill knows we're here. That's how we roll one in Fluvanna County. Now, the real story is we, we got invited back to Ola. Just look, here we are. I see Big Bill. I didn't know if he was gonna 
shake my hand or try to fight me or what, but I was ready for both. But he gave me a big old hug. Ooh, they have put us in the cold deer capital of the world right here in Stan, because I looked at the trail cameras and there's some show enough four or five year old deer that have all kind of gnarly twisted up racks and some six pointers and stuff. I'm not a trophy hunter. I'm not above shooting one of them. There's also a big 10 pointer in here and I want to go on record as saying, we've already filmed it once, but Matt Busp has told me that he would kill this deer. Hey, I say risk it. I say shoot him. Sometimes you gotta risk I, it. I'm saying like I said last year, I got a 10 point that's a shooter, not a call. Y'all hear that? Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. That's all we're saying. After I let this young 10 point slide, the next deer that comes in is definitely an older buck. He's a big wide cull six pointer. He ain't gonna get a pass. Don't put me on a management six pointer, son. Crash right there. <laughs> First night in Ala, we put the smack on a big old giant mature six point buck. Broadside 30 yards, I smoked him with the old razor, baby. Hey, that's look. That's two years in a row I've come to Ala. Two years in a row, I've killed a deer on the first night with the raisin. Not sure. That smoke. Smoke, smoke. That's what that is. Alright, we'll see where he went. That's where it blew through him. Look at that dude, look at that thing. He looks like a brunt truck. <laughs> he looks that like a brunt truck with his. Good. Look at that six-pointer, man. Look at the size of the body on that deer. He's bigger than deer shot in Kansas this year. <laughs> look at look at how he look how he came in there all cool too. Well, Matt, I know how you love killing six-pointers, buddy, but I had to rob this one from you because he's just too cool to pass up. Just an old gnarly Louisiana warrior. Let's get this dude out. I'm glad it's not as long drag. I killed a good one. Look at the doubt in Bill's eyes. Oh, uh, he hey, ain't, you know he ain't hurt. You doubt my eyes is that you know why. <laughs> you know exactly Bill, why. Bill, I love you, brother. Propped <laughs> <laughs> up all pretty. Look at that tank. I think Kip's back on the board here. We got, uh, the biggest thing is mending the fences with Big Bill and Kip. Last year, their their entrance together was strong, and then it ended not so strong to quite not so strong. So I just don't want the Red Era experience to be over with one and done one afternoon. I feel like there's more deer to kill. Oh, there's always more deer to kill. I'm fixing to lay the smack down on some doors tonight, so uh... Hopefully we can get one out here. We got a uh, red arrow just down the way here. Um, Kip killed a great buck last night, and uh, now uh, we're fixing to shoot some does. He's on uh, doe patrol along with me, and uh, it should be a pretty good night. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. We got a doe. That's what we're after tonight. I'm just trying to fill our doe tag. We just got a camera down there. We're trying to get an exit clean shot. 
you know, something we've always wanted to do was get an exit wound kill shot on a deer. And we put out a big pile in game, got a remote camera, and kind of figured out where the deer was going to be. And it looked like it was going to happen. All right, you good? Big dog to hell, baby. <laughs> that was cool, man. I guarantee you that looked cool. See the amount of blood that came out of that deer? We got more deer meat. We're here in Ala. Killed a real nice, super, super old management buck out of this tree stand the other night. We've had a really, really rough season. We're down here in beautiful Louisiana in 70 degree weather. Man, it's fun to shoot a doe like that. One heck of a way to end the season. Uh, hopefully, Kip's getting it done right down there. Well, we're gonna have to track this doe. Cause there she lays right there. So we got a little meat to bring home to Virginia. And we got a really cool angle on this camera up here. Exit wound kill shot. She did a little donut and then crashed in the pines right there. Let's take a look at it. I had this little camera rolling right here. And that's where I hit it. She, man, look at the blood. That's unbelievable blood. <clears throat> that nocturnal. Yeah, that's called heart blood right there, ladies and gentlemen. Some people don't like killing does. For some reason, they want to wait on a giant buck, but I like shooting does. Helping out the management a little bit. When the numbers get a little high. And they got plenty here, that's for sure. Man, I tell you what, this is, uh, it's been a cool trip like it always is down in Ala. We've had a lot of fun, shot a good buck, old buck, and helped out with the management, shot a doe a little bit. Well, we had fun at Whitetail Disneyland this week, AKA Ala. Thank you, Big Bill. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Ryan. Thank everybody that made this possible. You know, Marv, we love you guys. We had a big time with you guys down there, and no doubt we want to come back next year, so. We killed a call buck this year and just at one doe. Hopefully, we'll see you right back here at Allah on the Outdoor Channel next year. It's up to you.